Welcome to the wonderful world of Pokemon. Our beloved Galar region is a wonderful place with thriving nature. Beautiful cities and many Pokemon with which we share our lives. As you know, our society is able to thrive. Elephant. Thanks to the help from these mysterious creatures that we call Pokemon. No comment there. Yes, Pokemon are all around us. In the sea, in the sky, and even with us in our towns. And those of you, those of us who choose to raise and train Pokemon to do battle and compete, we call Pokemon Trainers. Woo! We love Pokemon! Oh, but I'm getting carried away. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rose. It is a pleasure to be here. Now turn your gaze to the Galar region's greatest Pokemon trainer, your undefeated champion. It's time for Champions Leon Exhibition Match! Woo! Those of you who are WWF wrestler fans will understand all of these references. But they say the name for way too long, they do that in boxing. It's like, let's get ready to rumble! You get the picture. Oh shit, it's going on. You know I don't lose battles, Raihan! Charizard, Dynamax! Oh my god! See, like, I really liked this, and guess what? They took it away. Why do they always take away everything that I love? We want to make our Pokemon giant, and then Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, they took that away. It's fun going back to this past. I've played Pokemon Sword, but, as you know, there are different Pokemon, and there are different trainers to battle. So it's technically a different game to me. I never got to experience it, because I couldn't afford both copies. Until now. There's me, my avatar. Miley. Hello, hello. Ah, oh, that your flash new phone, Miley? You Were you watching Lee's exhibition match on it? But you can't cheer him on with your hands full. What? Oh, but you can't cheer your hands, okay. You know the only way to properly cheer on Lee would be with his famous Charizard pose. Oh. Hop, didn't expect you to be here today. Dear, isn't this the big day? Yeah, exactly why I came running over to get Miley. Was a better voice. Never mind watching the match now. I've got a recording at home anyway. I record all my brother's matches. Come with me, Miley. He should be here any minute. And Lee always brings presents when he visits, so I wouldn't forget that bag of fire with you. Now I've got to run. See you at, at mine later. See you at mine later? See you at the mine later? I don't know. Uh, maybe his house later? That was weird. Whatever. Wow, this looks really great. I forgot how great it looked. This is my lamp, and this is my fireplace, and this is my plant, and this is my TV, and this is my lamp, and this is my book, and this is my couch where I sit. No time for that. We gotta go. And this is my Pokemon. Isn't that like a baby Snorlax? Munchlax, that's what it is. And this is my mirror, and these are my raincoats, and this is my broom. And this is my mom, and this is my kitchen. <laughs> Munchlax will come to eat any leftover food, so the sink is sparkling clean. Who's that, the narrator? The so Munchlax will come to eat any leftover food, so the sink is sparkling clean. I'm the narrator. Okay. I'm rushing off in that state, Miley. Didn't Hop say you should bring your bag? I saw it in your room. Don't forget to grab a hat for the weather. Okay, Mom. Grab your mom's old bag. 
Should have put some voice acting in this. They didn't do that in Scarlet and Violet either, I guess. But imagine if they did. That would be cool. Adventure Guide. Open the X menu by pressing the X button. Yeah, we get it. And this is my Eevee. This is my Nintendo Switch. Kind of weird, right? Okay, we gotta go. We're wasting precious time. So we could be catching Pokemon! Now I have like no idea what kind of Pokemon are in here and what kind of trainers we have to battle, but I know this like basic premise because I beat the other game, so. I haven't done it in a while. Badoo! Badoo! That one turns out to be a pretty good Pokemon later. Haha! -ha! Have a look at you, Miley! That old bag looks like it could pull you over! At least we know that it should hold anything we might bring, even if it's as big as a Snorlax! A Wooloo? But what's it doing there? I'm gonna get in there, baby! Just you watch. Poof. Huh, you silly Wooloo! I see what you're up to! Don't go using tackle on the fencing. Now you listen. No going past that fence. No. Everyone knows there are scary Pokemon living in the slumbering weald. What? That's a weird way to say it. Now that that's taken care of. How about it, Miley? Let's race. Bet I can make it to my house first. What with you lugging around that big old bag. Okay, I'm going to be a better Pokemon master than you. I remember now, he's not very good, and he never really gets good, and he just keeps challenging you. The power of science is amazing! Now you can battle and trade Pokemon with other people just by walking around! Isn't that super amazing? No one ever talks to me. Hey, Miley, Hop was looking for you, you know? But no need to go to the next town to find him, where he lives right next door, right? <laughs> I like trying to voice everybody that I see, unless it's going to be annoying. <laughs> Mom, is he here? There you are at last, Hop. Oh, and I brought... Oh, and you brought along Miley. Hello, dear. Yeah, but where's Lee? Have you got him crammed in a cupboard? He's still not here yet, for the hundredth time, honestly. Oh, why didn't it say the name before the thing? Can't tell who's saying it. He's still not here yet, for the hundredth time, honestly. Hop, you must learn some patience. He's probably just arrived at the station in Wedgehurst. See, then it says his name over the top. I don't know why I'm being so nitpickety. <laughs> nitpickety? Nitpicky? Then that's where I'm going. You know Lee is hopeless with directions. Just make sure he doesn't get lost on his way. Oh, you will? Well, that's probably for the best. Wait, what? I read that wrong. You've got to come with Miley. You still never bet met Big Bro, right? You can't miss out on your chance to meet the undefeated champion. I'll wait for you on the route. Okay. This is his house, I guess. Yeah. To hop, his brother is a superhero. That's true. He does talk about him a lot. Leon's so busy that he hardly comes home, but I would like to keep his room clean and tidy. Yeah, eerily tidy. It's kind of creepy. It's got all these magazines, like, perfectly rubber banded up and everything. So he likes to work out, I guess. But doesn't really gain any muscle. <laughs> and this is the TV. Gengar! Charizard! In which I am. I remember on the Let's Go Pikachu, I did very well with my Charizard and my Gengar. I didn't have a Machamp, though. 
Gotta go, mom. Or other person's mom. Whatever. Bye. <sighs> Look how fast I can run. Where the fuck do I go? Probably just gonna continue down the road. Okay. So it took you long enough. Let's get a move on. Smell you later. <laughs> Only remember, Miley, wild Pokemon can come out of nowhere if you walk past through patches of tall grass. I've got my Wooly with me, so I'm ready for battles against wild Pokemon, of course. But not you, Miley. So, we'll steer clear of the tall grass as we go. Oh, really? You don't know that I've beaten the entire game already? I have some news for you, Hop. Why don't you hop along? Get out of my face. No wandering that tall grass for you if you got no Pokemon. Poke, oh God. If you got no Pokemon of your own, mate. I need that Pokeball, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Okay, there's like a big ceremony we need to go attend. I think this is the one where you can get a haircut and stuff. You can get food. Oh yeah, and you can buy clothes, and buy a new bag, and this is one where you can like really shop to your heart's content. No idea what I voiced everybody the last time I played this, so uh, everyone's gonna get new voices. Hello, hello! Witchhurst, your champion Leon is back! I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for you all to watch. He's all might now. <laughs> it's our unbeatable champion! Leon, you and Charizard are the greatest! Well, thank you for that. I hope you all carry on training up your Pokemon and never shy from battle. Then come challenge me for the champion title. We're on it! We've all been working on our battle skills just like you've taught us to, Lee! Everyone said that at the same time, I guess. <laughs> but that Charizard of yours is too strong for the likes of us to take on. Too true the Charizard is blazingly strong, but other Pokemon can be strong as well. That's why I want the strongest of challenges to fill the gym challenge and come battle me. My wish is for Galar's trainers to work together. Oh, this is Yu-Gi-Oh! That's what I'm doing. <laughs> My wish, Taya, is for Galar's trainers to work together and to become the strongest in all the world. Yeah, <laughs> I loved Yu-Gi-Oh! That's what that voice sounds like to me. Hop! So, my number one fan in the world has come out of his way to pick me up. Look at you, Hop! I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since the last time I saw you. Bingo! That's the short, sort of sharp eye that's kept you undefeated so long, eh, Lee? <laughs> he sounds like a god. And these bright eyes over here. I've got it! You must be Miley, am I right? I've heard loads about you from my little brother. I am the Gala region's greatest ever Pokemon champion and a massive Charizard fan, too. People call me the unbeatable Leon. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Lee. And you too, Miley. Bet I can beat the both of you back home. <laughs> that hop. Always wanting to be the best, isn't he? With a proper rival of his own, I bet he'd push himself to become something truly special. Well, everyone, I bid you farewell for today. But don't you fret. I'll always be around to make sure everyone in Galar can have a champion time. He's kind of obnoxious. But I mean, that's the voice I'm giving him. It seems like it fits. Although Yami Yugi was like a very good person. And very helpful and strong and so hot. <laughs> but enough about that. Come on, Lee, you promised us a present, so out with it! You brought Miley and me Pokemon. You did, didn't you? I know you must have! Right then, the greatest gift from the greatest champion. It's showtime, everyone. 
Okay, he's a he's really full of himself. Actually, I don't like him. <laughs> I'm the greatest champion in the world. Yami Yugi doesn't do that. He knows he's good, but he doesn't like make a big deal about it. He just like wins the battle and helps everyone stay the day. Grass type Pokemon, Fire type Pokemon, Score Bunny, Water type Pokemon, Sobble. I do remember I got Score Bunny last time. And then I like the Sobble one, but I really think the green monkey will be cool. I think that's our main deal. And then we can name him Goku, like the monkey. I'm already thinking about it. Score Bunny turns into like a soccer playing one. That's pretty cool. Which will you choose? Oh no! Oh, blah, 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 blah. Freaking exhausted. Go on, you pick first. I've already got my Wooloo after all. You're just like, ah, so I'll just use Wulu for every battle. It's like, oh my god. The green one. The grass type Pokemon Grokey, eh? It's soothing, like a nice long walk in the woods. The grass type Pokemon Grookey, is it? Yeah, but I don't want to name him Grookey. You choose Grookey. Would you like to give him a name? Yes. Goku. It is a boy, right? No, this one's a girl. Okay, well, then I guess we can name her, um, I still want to name her Goku. <laughs> Is that wrong? Girl Goku? Uh, there's like a new girl Super Saiyan character. Oh, what the hell is her name? Kaliva or something? Like cauliflower? Kalifa? That seems weird, but I mean, I guess. Sure, why not? I wanted to name a Goku. <laughs> so, it'll be Grookey for you. Nice one. Then I'll go with Sabo. You're mine! I'm aiming to be the next champion, so be ready. You and I will be doing some serious training. Believe it! <laughs> and I'll be more like, I bet you'll be! <laughs> I bet you will be helpful! Believe it! Okay, no, <laughs> we're not doing that. Leon's talking now. That's why I brought these Pokemon for you and Miley. So the two of you can battle and trade and grow stronger. We need more commas in the sentence. So the two of you can battle, comma, and train and grow stronger together to try to reach me. <laughs> they didn't really put much punctuation in that. And you'll come with me, little one. Charizard will show you the ropes. He's strict. But a real strong and real kind too. Oh shit. That means I have to fight the fire type for the final boss. Oh. Well, that's okay. I'll, I'll get like a really good water type by then. We'll get lots of Pokemon. It'll be fine. Alright. Enough of this trainer nonsense for one night. Oh, is this the girl talking now? <laughs> Dinner's ready, children. Bring along your Pokemon and let's all eat. <laughs> it's like they don't label who's talking, so it's very hard to figure out what's going on. But that's my only gripe about the game so far. The next day. Oops. You spent the whole night with that new partner of yours, right, Hop? 
You two getting on all right? Understanding one another? Maybe even built up a bit of love? Of course I have, Lee. Miley's made fast friends with her Grookey, too. Then listen up, new traders. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon. If you trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday you may even become worthy rivals for me, the unbeatable champion. You know what? This guy's more like freaking um, Kaiba than he is Yugi. Because Kaiba was a jerk. But I don't know how to do that voice. What are you looking for her, Lee? I'm the one who'll be challenging you. If you think Miley might be able to challenge you, then I guess she's my first rival. Wait, what? Oh, I read the thing wrong, damn it. Oh. But I'm not planning to lose to her and, and miss out on my chance to beat the unbeatable champion. Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know? Proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be first-rate in battle, too. Oh, and you think you're worthy of calling yourself a proper trainer already, Hop? Guess I'll be the judge of that. Let's see how you handle yourself in a battle against your friend, if she's up for it. <laughs> like, totally, I'm like, sounding like Yugi now. This is cool. What do you say? Willing and ready to take Hop on the first ever Pokemon battle of your life? Believe in your partner, Pokemon, and take and care for them too with all your heart, the heart of the cards. <laughs> Do those two things and I'm certain you'll learn to choose the moves that suit your Pokemon. And more importantly, to have a champion time battling with them. Looks like everyone's on board, Pokemon and trainers alike. Then let's do this. I've watched every match that Lee's ever had. I've read every book and magazine he left behind at home, too. I know exactly what to do in order to win. Really? You're going to rely on just knowing the knowledge? You have to, like, actually do it. Anybody can just regurgitate a bunch of facts. Let's see if you actually can fight. Now, I didn't pick a fire type, so I can't just obliterate him, but I'm sure my Pokemon will be awesome. A Pokemon battle it is, then. Level 3. Oh, I'm already better than you, baby. Alright, let's do this. Fight. Oh, I have a scratch and growl, but whatever. We're going to make this dude, the girl, a powerhouse. You think that hurt me? Time to scratch. The opposing Wulu used tackle. I'm not going to do that every time. It's so annoying. Fight, scratch. Like, what an amazing showdown. Three scratches. 55 points. Branch poke. It's not over yet. I have another trusty ally to my team. Sobble. Okay. Oh, I'm still better than you, baby. Let's go. What's this? Let's try this. I always say, let's go. Oh, I didn't even... Before the dumb meme was a thing. Did you already know about this type advantages? Yeah. I'm an idiot. I think the water is going to help my monster grow. Make my monster grow! That's supposed to be Rita Repulsa. <laughs> oh, you lose. Your Pokemon gained experience points. Woo! Up seven. Oh my god, you beat my two Pokemon with your one? You and that Grookey are too much! I didn't even barely even try. I had like one new move and I used it multiple times. Well that was a shock. Guess I know why Lee thought you should give up. He should give you a Pokemon too. You and your Pokemon all fought hard. Scratch after scratch after scratch. It was invigorating. It's like, it was not that interesting. Good effort out there, Grookey. Why don't I get you all sorted? 
and Miley. You've got real promise. In fact, I've got a favor to ask you. Be a rival to Hop. Would you push him off a cliff? Just kidding. And make the both of you stronger. I already want to get stronger and stronger. I can't have a girl beat me. He's like, whoa, you can't say that. Uh, <laughs> Hop, you've seen me battle now. Oh. Hop, you've seen me battle. So come on. You've got to let me take on the Pokemon gyms. Oh. Damn it. Ah, <sighs> fucking tired. You join the gym challenge? Ha 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 ha! You think you're ready for the single greatest competition in the Galar region? Not putting the cart before the Rapidash there, little brother. If that's really what you want to do, you two have a whole lot you need to learn about Pokemon. Especially your friend Miley, before you think about getting gym badges. Best to think about getting a Pokedex. A trainer's Pokedex helps them learn lots of things about all the Pokemon out there, including their strengths. But it's more than just a collection of data, you know. It's a record of a trainer's love and passion for Pokemon training. Right, right, right. We get it. Pokedex is then. We're on it. Looks like it's off to the Pokemon Research Lab for you and me, Miley. That's the kind of enthusiasm a trainer needs. I'll let the professor know to expect you. I'm going to be the next champion. Believe it. <laughs> so completing a simple Pokedex will be nothing. Just another page in the tale of my legend. You'd probably better go tell your mom that we're heading out, though. Yeah, he's kind of cocky, but he can't back it up. Because he's terrible. Again? Ah. Uh. Miley, did you hear that just now? Probably nothing. The gate's open, and the Wooloo that was there. Oh no! It was tackling the fence pretty hard earlier. You don't think it actually broke through there, do you? But it's off limits. Nobody's supposed to go in there. I remember the professor's granddaughter went in once and she came back in a real state. And that was nothing compared to the earful she got from the professor afterward. Miley, what do you say? We've got to save it. Ha <laughs> ha. Right. <sighs> Even if we're not supposed to, this is the kind of scene where you simply have to do what's needed. Hope you're ready for anything, because we're going in, Miley. Oh my god, I'm tired. Okay, we're going to stop there. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I make a new video every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And as always, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Boring without any sound.